Hey everyone, Hal here. Today I'm going to teach you Sailor's Hornpipe. We could play just the melody. And that would be great, but it also has chords. So I'm going to teach you both the melody and the chords today and you can do it as a duet, like this. First, let's teach the chords. Here's my G chord. You all know that I love to do my G chord this way without that finger and muting the A string, the fifth string up, with this finger. The next chord is an A chord. And I realize you can't see it very well from that angle, but what I'm doing is I'm doing one finger, love to do my chord that way, and this finger is over the top, touching the E string lightly, so that this string doesn't play. That's what it looks like. Now you can do it like this, or you can do it like that, or you can do it like this, right? but I like to do it like this. The other chord is D, and I like to do my chord with my pinky right there, these three fingers. You can do it like this. You'll notice that my thumb is over the top, and the reason I do that is to mute the E string and the A string, so that my lowest note is the D string right there. And I'll do the same thing here, I'll put my thumb over the top. The other chord that we're going to play is a C chord. Standard C chord. So this is a really good song to learn your basic chords. And that's the strumming pattern that I use. I'll show that to you in just a moment. G chord to A to D. That's the first phrase. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the phrases are 16 beats long four measures, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then A for four beats, one, two, three, four. And then D for four beats, one, two, three, four. All right, let's show the right hand. So here's the picking pattern. Bass note, strum, down, up, down, up. Bass note, strum, down, up, down, up. That's the G chord. I'm playing that low E string, third fret. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and. Then on the A chord, I play the A string. Same strumming pattern. Bass note strum, down, up, down, up. And then on the D chord, same thing. Bass, oops, wrong one. Bass note strum, down, up, down, up. And then bass note strum, down, up, down, up, bass note strum, down, up, down, up, bass note strum, down, up, down, up, bass note strum, down, up, down, up. That's the whole first part. The next part is like this. Bass note strum, down, up, down, up, bass note strum, down, up, down, up, bass note strum, down, up, down, up, bass note strum, down, up, down, up. G chord for four beats. One, two, three, four. C chord for four beats, A chord for four beats, D chord for four beats, G chord, C chord, D chord, G chord. So there's two sections to this song. There's the beginning part or the A section and then the B part. The first part has G major for two measures a for one measure, D. And 
then it has G, C, D, G. The second part is the G chord, C chord, A chord, D chord, and then the other phrase is G, C, D, G. What I like to do is I like to play the A part twice. Do it again. And then we play the B part twice. And we do that part again. Here's the melody. That's the first phrase. Third fret, second fret, third fret, we're on the E string. Open G string twice. If you want the tabs for this, look in the description down below, and there's a link down there you can download this or print it out. Third fret, second fret, third fret on the E string, G string twice. And then we play B string, second string, three, one, open, three, back to the E string, play the three twice. Now this is where I deviate just a little bit from the traditional sailor's hornpipe. I'm playing the E string, five, three, five, and then down to the G string, two, two. Back to the E string, five, three, two, open. B string, three, three. So it sounds like this. And then we do this tricky part. Okay, let's explain that. Open string, open two, three, two, open. Third fret on the B string. And then there's four notes at a time. Open E string, B string third fret, B string first fret, open B back to B string first fret, open B, G string second fret, open, G string second fret again, open, D string fourth fret, second fret. And then we play open D, open G, and then I set these both down at the same time. 4th fret, D string, 2nd fret, G string. So it goes open D, open G, set those down, and then I play open G, open B, and set these two down, which is 2nd fret, G string, 1st fret, B string, which is and then you play open B, then I stop it with my hand, and then I play open G twice. And whenever I want to do those stops, like that, I have to stop it somehow. Usually I do it with my left hand. So let's do that. A little tricky. 
If you do it a little faster, it sounds like this. Now let's do the second part. Like that. Open B, third fret B, third fret G string, back to third fret B, and you do it again. Open three, 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 and then you play open E string to first fret B string. And then you play open E, third fret B string, second fret B string, open E, five, open, two on B, open E, five E, open, second fret on the E string, third fret on the B string. So let's do that all again. Now let's show you the other way that I play it, which is like this. I put my finger, my first finger, on the third fret E string and B string, and my second finger on the fourth fret G string. And then I play fifth fret B string, fifth fret G string twice. And then I play, and I get my hand into this position because I'm going to do the same chord on the 5th and 6th fret. And these are the notes leading into it. 5th fret, B string, 7th fret, G string, and then we're on 6, 5, 5, 5, 6, 5, 5, 5, so it's G string 6, B string 5, E string five, back to B string five, six, five, five, five. Seventh fret, B string, seventh fret, G string. So faster it looks like this. And then we do the same thing we did before. And remember, I like to do that twice, so I do it again. Let's look at the right hand and show you what the right hand looks like. You'll notice that I'm laying my hand down on these low strings right here. I'm just laying my hand down. A lot of times I'm using a, an alternate picking.
Let's play the whole song for you, and I did a looping track so you can hear how the chords sound in the background. There you go, Sailor's Hornpipe. This is also the song that they did at the beginning of the Popeye cartoon. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. And they had that little melody in there. Just a little melody of the Sailor's Hornpipe and then they went into the Popeye the Sailor Man song. Also, it was done in a movie, let's see, a Disney movie. The dodo bird sang it just he, before he went to the caucus race. Um, oh, I love to sail on the bounding sea. They put some words to that one. Uh, that was Alice in Wonderland. Let's see. This was the old, old version. The one that came out with, uh, you know, it was a cartoon. It's been used many, many times before. A lot of times in, in movies and in uh, uh, audio when they want to give you an impression of the sea. Uh, let's talk just a minute about that because the sea and sailing and sailors, they were romanticized 200 years ago so much because that was the exploration of the world at the time, the unknown parts of the world, the sailors and the seamen and uh, the captains and all of that kind of thing. They were the ones that were exploring the world, finding new things, finding new lands, and it was so exciting for everybody back at home. People wanted to be sailors. Much like we dream of uh, things in outer space today and uh, fantasize about that. All right, that's all I have to say about that. My name is Hal, this is Quail Studios Guitar. I've got a Patreon page. Uh, you'll find more things over there, uh, a lot of public posts and uh, different insight than what I give here on YouTube. Thank you for being here. And if you want to support my work, make a donation either at Patreon, at PayPal, there's a link below, or you can just get in touch with me at lessonswithhal at gmail.com and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.